from Picosa. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, last week, the House of Delegates made a major step towards securing funds for our state employees. Together with the Senate, we announced that the upcoming amended budget will include a 3 percent pay raise for classified employees, raise salaries for new and current state police officers, and include money for compression for local sheriff's deputies. Yesterday, I was an, it was announced that the House was taking major steps to help our teachers and our schools. Rural schools are struggling as they see their enrollment decline as families leave for better jobs. Our proposed budget will include a 15 percent enrollment loss supplement that will go a long way to secure those schools' futures. On top of that, Mr. Speaker, the House budget will restore the 40 percent lottery proceeds to our schools with no local match. This means that school divisions will not have to come up with their own funds. Schools will also be able, Mr. Speaker, to use the money where it is needed the most, and that includes the option of including using the money to give our teachers a much-deserved pay raise or to cover VSR payments. Contrast the proposal, Mr. Speaker, to the governor's proposed budget, which does absolutely nothing to help struggling schools. It does absolutely nothing to help with teacher pay raises. And the new money that he proposes will require a local match. A one-time 1.5 percent bonus hardly moves the needle for our hard-working educators. On top of that, Mr. Speaker, requiring strings attached to any new funds is not the message that should be sent to our localities. Mr. Speaker, Chairman Jones and his committee have developed a budget that I believe sends a very positive message to the educators of our Commonwealth, saying to them that we do care for our schools and we do care for our teachers. The teachers of the Commonwealth of Virginia deserve our assistance. They deserve to have their morale lifted. They need to know that we care, care about our children and how they have a major role in developing their future. Mr. Speaker, I commend Chairman Jones and his committee for the struggles that they have dealt with since long before this session even began. I commend each delegate for offering suggestions on how to reassure our educators. Mr. Pe Mr. Speaker, how can the administration be so elated regarding businesses in Virginia and at the very same time do nearly nothing for the teachers of this Commonwealth? If I were a teacher and I had access to the governor's budget, I, as a teacher, would surely believe that I'd chosen the wrong vocation. I would also feel a sense of betrayal knowing that I have to keep the third job that I have just to keep my head above water. Mr. Speaker, members of the House, I appreciate your attention in dealing with this matter. Thank you.